There has been the discussion about uh, the dominance of the left and the right hemisphere and whether there are differences between genders. Interestingly, when you sum up all the studies with respect to this issue, then you don't seem to have a good basis for making the claim that has often been made, namely that women have a more bilateral representation uh, of language than men. When I look at my own data, we never find those differences. The only difference we ever found with respect to language processing was the timing with which women and men process emotional information coming from prosody and coming from words. So we did a study where we had sentences whose content was either positive, neutral or negative. And these different sentences came with different prosodic emotional information that is happy, sad or neutral. And uh, now the question was, given that you have those uh, different types of information co-occurring in different combinations in the language input, um, who would use which type of information first? And what we could show is the following, that women in the first 200 milliseconds use the emotional prosody to indicate sort of the positive or the negative information, whereas men usually take the information that comes by the words, whether the content is positive or not. And we sort of ask ourselves, is that a general difference? I mean, a systematic difference? Or is it just that uh, men, although they are able to process the prosic prosodic information early, they don't consider this as relevant. And so we had a second study in which we forced the men to sort of make a judgment about the emotional prosody. And uh, pretty clearly what uh, we could show is, yes, they are able to do so. But usually during normal processing, they obviously have their attention more on the content than on the prosody. And the question could be, why could that be so? And the only explanation that we found for ourselves was that uh, the attention to prosodic information may be in the evolution be more relevant for mothers uh, caretaking their children who are not yet able to speak in words but give their positive or negative feelings by prosodic information. Whether that holds up, um, we don't know. <laughs>